Vasari Marmorino and stucco plasters are made with finely crushed marble, limestone, and river sand. Marmorino and stucco have been used throughout the centuries in the world's finest architecture. Marmorino complements both traditional and contemporary settings. Marmorino can be used on large-scale projects and accent areas. Marmorino plaster can be applied over latex, standard drywall primer, and cementaceous surfaces. Marmorino can even be applied on exteriors and inside shower stalls. Typically applied in two coats, Marmorino can be troweled smoothly and subtly or textured with deeper variation of color and movement. Two coats of the same plaster will give you natural lighter and darker variations of that color. As with all Vasari products, Marmorino is a tintable plaster with an option of thousands of colors and unlimited creative styles. It can easily be applied to previously existing textures. On new interior construction, at least a level 3 drywall finish is preferred. Previous to applying plaster, any trim and cabinets around the wall should ideally be stained, varnished, or lacquered. A perfect masking job can make all the difference between an amateur job and a professional finish. When masking, you have a wide option of tools such as a masking machine with paper or a masking tape with plastic. Use plastic or paper to cover windows, floors, and countertops. Basically, you're masking as you would for a paint job. You can leave a slight reveal of about 1 16th of an inch of the adjacent substrate exposed as you'll be adding thickness to the wall. You'll need a trowel, a hawk, and something to get the plaster from the pail to the hawk. There are 8, 12, or 16 inch trowels. Pick whichever best suits your needs and whichever is most comfortable. You can use most trowels available in hardware stores. Make sure your trowel has a very straight edge. You can grind down the corners for eliminating potential lines. You can also use a pool trowel. Before starting, safety first. As with any plaster, wear latex gloves and safety glasses. Be extra careful not to get any plaster in your eyes. The most difficult part of application for most people seems to be getting the plaster from the hawk onto the trowel. Just cream the plaster from the top. Don't scrape it off. The more you agitate the plaster, the thinner the consistency will be and the more difficult it will be to work with. Deeper colors will have a thinner consistency. More merino plaster goes on in two coats. The first coat should be applied at about 1 16th to 1 8th of an inch thick. Apply it like thick butter. Whatever texture you create on the first coat will show through as deeper variations of the color on your final coat. Minimal texture will give you minimal variation. Make sure you don't have any unnatural trowel marks on your first coat. You can do the first coat in sections if you're dealing with larger spaces. Make sure your dried seams are well feathered in random patterns. Apply it thick enough so there's no chatter as a result of applying the plaster too thinly. The first coat should be thick enough that the second coat has enough material to absorb into and create a decent mineral bond. Allow at least 24 hours to completely dry. For your second coat, apply the plaster slightly thinner just to the point where you don't let it chatter. Depending on the ventilation, within about one or two minutes it will start to dry to a clay-like consistency. At this point, you can start to burnish or polish the plaster. This is done by applying pressure at a 5 to 20 degree angle with the edge of your clean trowel. This is all about timing. If the plaster is still too wet where you can move it with your finger, it's not ready to burnish. It might slightly crackle if burnished too soon. If too dry, nothing will happen when burnishing. Instead, the plaster will start getting gray marks as a result of your trowel scraping against the sand of the plaster. The easiest way to apply the second coat of marmorino is in thin layers. This way you'll have more open time and have time to burnish the entire area. Also, layering will give you more variation, modeling, and texture if desired. As it becomes more compact and clay-like, you can add tighter and thinner strokes of plaster. This will give you more variation and sheen. Again, these are very tight, thin strokes applied with some more pressure. Also, you can do marmorino in three coats instead of two. This gives you more durability, moisture resistance, and a more textured or smoother look depending on how you apply it, only burnishing the last coat. You can add highlights of color or mix colors as the plaster is still wet. 
When it looks good, you can start burnishing the wall. If the wall is over four or five hundred square feet and you're by yourself, gently spray water on the seams to give them more open time. On larger scales, burnish the areas which are ready as opposed to trying to burnish all at once. Our stucco plaster is practically done in the same way as our marmorino. The stucco will work on interior as well as exteriors. Stucco has more sand, making it thicker and more texture prone than the marmorino. You will have more durability and increased open time when working with Vasari stucco plaster. When your last coat is completely dry, you can sand it with something similar to a fine worn sanding sponge, which will give you more modeling of color and polish. This will also make small crackling almost completely disappear. Wear a dust mask or a respirator when sanding. Notice that the plaster dries much lighter than when wet. Wipe down the wall with a damp cloth to get rid of any excess dust. At this point, you can call it finished, lime wash it, wax it, or seal it. There's no need to seal plaster unless it's in a high traffic area, more weather prone exteriors, or shower stalls. With these simple methods, you can achieve a truly endless variety of marmorino and stucco plaster techniques. Make a few sample boards before you commit to the real thing. We promise that within minutes, you'll understand plastering with Vasari Marmorino and Stucco Plasters. For ordering products, checking out the latest application tips, and much more, visit us at VasariPlaster.com. Enjoy the rest of our complimentary video series on creating the best wall finishes in the world.